People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Hey guys, so I'm back with the competitive play updates for South Africa. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the results from the week before last. I'm going to be uploading another video in the next day or so with last week's results. But just to recap that, this is the pie. We have SID at 15%, Tri Brigade at 11, Virtual World at 7. Quite excited about quite a few guys picking up the deck at the moment, so that's quite nice. Uh, and it's putting through uh, good results across the board. And we have Pankids at 7, Sky Striker at 7, and then Dino, Lich, Geist, Drytron, Evil Twin, Ignite, Salad, and Phantom. Uh, Salad has been doing fairly well. It's not a, I mean, there's only 4% top 3. However, um, Salad has been doing fairly well in, in results at Nexus and AI. I'm not sure about the other stores, but they've been fairly consistent. It's Obviously, at the moment, it's quite difficult to defend against uh, access code for win. The other deck that's worth mentioning is Altergeist. Shout out to uh, Robert, his channel, Moonsong. Definitely check him out. He was gracious enough to do a deck profile on my deck, my virtual deck. But actually, Altergeist has been performing really well, especially himself at Nexus. He's been, I think he took a tournament two weeks ago and top place in top three last week, doing fairly well. I think it just has really good matchups at the moment. As for Dino Lich, I'm not seeing a hell of a lot of results. Dino is obviously, there are a few players that are making it work, for example, like Andre, but there's not a lot of representation at the moment. Drytron, still hanging in there. It's, it's a really strong deck, um, but obviously it has really big flaws that you can take advantage of, and if you do, you, you stand a good chance against that deck. But if they go off, it's a different story. Evil Twin, um, not a lot of representation at the moment, but they do have a lot of new support, so hopefully that picks up. And then Mech Knight is mainly Mech Knight Orchestra and stuff, it's nice to see that they're still being played. Cool, and then other is 22%, so we have quite a big variety of rogue decks uh, taking parts uh, or taking top slots at the moment. Okay, just to go back to the uh, top decks at the moment, we have Sid and Tri Brigade. They are definitely the number one and number two decks. Currently, as I believe, personally, Sid is the number one deck, and then Tri Brigade following that. Um, obviously, Tri Brigade is very resilient. It uh, has a really good grind game because of Revolt, and yeah, they can just basically combo off, and even if you can completely stop their combo, set the trap, and then have enough to interrupt and continue the next turn. So that's pretty good. But it seems like they might get hits on the ban list. I think they should, but hopefully it's not too bad that they can actually stick around because they're a really good engine in general. So yeah, so that's Tri Brigade. And then Sip, for example, um, this is definitely the number one deck currently. They have all of the Shadal access. They have Alistair, Normal Summon, which is its own thing. They have the Dogmaticas, and they've actually gotten another boost to their, their strategy which is the Despiers. So I haven't seen anyone else talk about the Despier engine but I know Pranesh for example is currently playing that in his set deck. From what I can see they are quite resilient, they fit into the deck really well, they are pretty much a one card starter just like the Deer Servant into Dogmatica. They have their teleport version kind of spell, which doesn't discard for cost, which means that you can act uh, activate the Shadows, um, and that's its own engine. Basically makes it very, very difficult for you to punch through for damage. So I think this is going to be a really useful engine that people are going to make use of, um, more especially in this deck, because it meshes really, really well.
guys that's the results for each of the stores nationally uh, if any of the stores that you take part in haven't been featured here please definitely get in touch with myself or at least get the store in touch with me and then hopefully we can get those results in i'm going to be doing videos on a regular basis again so at least we can post up every single week's results from your locals just a mention of a new store that's going to be that's opening in kempton park uh, it's stone dragon I believe they are a player run store they are hosting Yu-Gi-Oh events going forward the first event is actually this friday in the evening so definitely check that out um, i think it's going to be a really good store to take part in good size support um, and hopefully some really good competitive play as well. Cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Okay, and definitely check out the next couple of videos. I'm going to be doing the news update for last week. And there's a few things coming in the pipeline as well. So definitely stay tuned for that.